It's first reading the story of Philip proclaiming the good news and helping to bring this eunuch to, to faith and then to baptism is a fascinating story. And I think it reminds us all to always be ready for the Holy Spirit to call us to proclaim the good news. Even when we're off walking from one place to another. Philip Props perhaps was with other people. He was there going in a particular direction and he sees what I think is almost like something out of a chariot race, but it's probably closer to a carriage, of a significant man in this carriage going along perhaps with a caravan of others moving from one place to another. And Philip's there walking, going from one place to another himself. And he sees this, this guy in this carriage reading. And he could probably get to hear him reading of the scriptures, reading the Old Testament. He thinks, I, I, I hear what he's... There is an openness here, an opportunity to proclaim Christ. And Philip drops everything, perhaps drops the friends that he was with, and goes over to the carriage and starts to, to speak and then jumps into the carriage to then start to have a conversation. If only we could be so open to the Holy Spirit moving in our own lives at times to move us to proclaim Christ in unusual situations. Often we get in our own pattern, our routine, we do this, we do this. Oh no, I've got some friends with me, I oh, know I can't go and do that. Philip realised that the Holy Spirit was guiding him to proclaim Christ in this context, in this chariot, this carriage on this day. And he brings a man to faith and to belief. God works through all of us as well. God is calling us at times to proclaim his resurrection, to proclaim his love, to bring a deeper knowledge and experience of Christ's love to others. We can say, oh, we're too busy. Oh, no, no, we're, in, we're doing this or we're doing that. Or we can say, no, there's an opportunity. The Holy Spirit's moving within us and we can proclaim Christ. But we need to be ready to proclaim Christ. Philip had reflected on the scriptures. He'd reflected on his relationship with Christ in prayer and study and was ready for that opportunity, that moment that came. Sometimes in a person's life, that moment might only come once or twice, but we're called to be ready both prayerfully and be formed with a love for Christ and a love for the scriptures to then proclaim the good news. Everybody who has eternal life Everyone who believes has eternal life. That's what our gospel proclaims to us today. And it reminds us of the importance of the Eucharist, that Christ is giving us himself to nourish us in our belief, but also in our life. Let us help others to believe. It's hard to believe in our world today, to be a person of faith. It's very easy to sort of think, oh, well, we're people of values, but we don't really believe. Let's have that conviction. Let's believe because we know we have a relationship with God. In prayer, we have a relationship with God because we read and understand the scriptures. And then when it happens, let's be ready to proclaim Christ to others. Perhaps it's someone walking along the road, someone we've never met before. Perhaps it's our own member of our family. Let's be courageous in listening, developing that relationship, and then proclaiming Christ in our world.